Spanish Sahara by Foles. The song is in standard tuning and it starts like this. So first of all, we're going to play the 7th fret on the A and the D string. So I'm playing this with my fingers at this stage because we want to play the notes simultaneously rather than strumming it. So we've got 7 and 7 on the A and the D. Then we're going to play 7 and 7 on the A and the D still, but then we're going to move the first finger to the 5 of the G. Then we're going to play a C chord, but this time we're going to play all of the four chord, uh, four strings, A, D, G, and B strings. So, but we're going to just pluck, pluck it. Then we're going to play seven, seven, and five again. Then we're going to play five and five on the A and the D, and four on the G. Then move that shape back two frets. So we've got three, three, and two. So again, just those two strings. Add in the G string. C chord. That shape again, seven, seven, five. Five, five, four. Three, three, two. Then for the rest of the verse, we're going to play seven, seven, five, C chord, seven, seven, five, 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 four, three, three, two. Okay, so. When I say five, five, four, got five, five, four, and three, three, two. I know I've got a bit of delay on, but it just makes it a little bit more swirly, which I think sounds good. So, and that pattern continues throughout the song. So then we've got this little part. So just on the D and the G string, we're going to play 7 and 5, and I'm just picking. Then we're going to come up to 10 on the D, 9 on the E, sorry, 9 on the G. Back down to 7 and 5. 5 on the D, 4 on the G. And then three on the D and two on the G. Then I'm not sure if this next part's a keyboard part or a guitar part, but it's just going to be five to eight on the E string. And again, that's five, eight on the high E string. Can play it 10 to 13 on the B, if you want to. Then we have this part. So, on the B string, 13, 12 to 10. Then, we're going to play on the G, 10, 12, 9. So. And then repeat that. And repeat 
playing twice on 13, three times on 12, three times on 10. Then we're going to play 13, 12, 10, 12, then 13, 12, 13, 12. The second time round, we're going to play. So the first three sections are the same. Then the last time round, we're going to play. So we're going to stay on that 12th fret of the B. 10, 12, 10, 12, 10, so, then 12, 12, 10, and 12, 12, 10, so, So the other guitar, over the top of that, or some instrument, it sounds like a guitar. So we're just going to play on the 12 of the E, 10 of the E, 15, uh, 13 of the B, then on the G, 10, 12, 9. Play that twice. Then we're going to play 12, 10, 13 of the B, 10 of the E, and then play the same part as the other guitar. So we've got. After that section, we've still got these same chords going on. Over the top of that, I'm not 100% sure what's happening, but it sounds like we've got something. So, not in that speed, because that's played a bit fast. So I think we're playing some stuff up here on the 15th fret of the G. The 15th, sorry, the 17th fret of the G, 17th of the B. And then the 18th fret of the B. So 17 and 18. I think we're playing something on the 17th fret of the G, uh, G and the 15th of the E. And I think that's what's going over the top of it. And then at the end of the song, we stay on this F chord, which is the 3, 3, and 2. stays on that chord until we go to the end of the song. <laughs> 